Knowing how to use Canva is a skill that's not only useful, but profitable. You can create stunning graphics, presentations, and posts, and even monetize it. You know, I've got another video showing how people are making $500 to $1,000 a day with this. But in this video, we have to start with the basics. So I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step Canva tutorial for beginners and show you exactly how to use it and get the best result. You guys ready to get into it? Let's go. Okay, so right when you get to Canva, this is what you're gonna see. And that there's so much you can do with in Canva, it's ridiculous. So you can do logos, Instagram posts, sheets. So when you see sheets, these are pretty much just the same thing as Excel spreadsheets. Documents are the same thing as like a Microsoft Word document. Whiteboards, presentations, social media. They have a photo editor, videos, print, and you can do a website in Canva. So there is so much that you can do, but I wanna take you through just the basic things that you're gonna to wanna to actually know how to do when it comes to Canva. So one thing I love about Canva is that you don't have to start from a blank slate. So the best thing to use Canva is using the template. So when you come to Canva, you are typically coming for a reason. You're trying to design something or you're trying to create an Instagram post, a Facebook post, or it could be anything. All the different templates they already have for an Instagram post that you can actually go ahead and just use. Now, when you see this little crown here that says pro, that means that you have to have the paid version in order to use these templates. So we're gonna get into all the other features that you could have with pro. But for the sake of this video, I wanna just show you what it looks like for using the different elements in this tool. So let's go to create a blank Instagram post just so I can get you familiar with all the different things that you can use inside here. So when you get to the post and it's blank, they're gonna give you more templates, but they're going to definitely suggest their templates because it's a lot better to start from something than just a blank slate. So they have the templates here that you can choose from. These are free, so when you don't see the crown, you can use any of these. So it's pretty cool here. But I'm gonna just show you some of the elements in here. So if you go to elements right here, this is where you can add shapes, lines, videos, graphics, videos. Everything is inside elements when I, about what I just talked about. So when you're just scrolling through, I just wanna show you some of the things that they have. They even have an AI image generator. This will be with the pro version, but you literally can create your own image. So this is an example of just saying a cute anime cat in a forest with flowers, and it will literally just create that. So that's with the pro version, but this is how cool Canva is. It will create what you want it to. And so one of the things that I really do love is frames because it makes things look so nice. So for example, if we could even do, let me try and find you a good example. Let's just do, say you were doing a advertisement or something like that. Let's just put a star here. So the frame is you can put any image inside here. So if we go back up to elements right here and I wanna search for an image. So let's just say um, fruit, because I just wanna show you the capabilities that this thing has. So once again, when you see pro, that means you have to have it paid. I wanna find you something that's free just for all those who don't wanna pay. I'll just show you an example how this works. Um, so I'm just gonna put this fruit right here. So you just drag it over and hover over it when you see it like this and then the fruit will go, the image goes right in there. And you can do that for anything. So that's one thing I really do like about frames is that it makes things look really cool, especially when you have better images without it being clip art images like this. But I just wanna show you an example of how this is. And adding text is another thing that I really like. So one thing that I do a lot is they have different things that you can do with the text. So you can add a text box by just clicking on that and then it will let you put whatever in now. This is gonna be where you can just by, when you hover over in the corner, it can enlarge the text or shrink it. And you can do whatever you want with here. And you can see, one thing I like about Canva is that when you click on things, they will show you with the lines on how you can square it up. So when it's centered like that, that's how you know it's centered. When you see the lines, the grid lines, they help you align everything so things will look straight. You definitely want things to look straight. Now, one of the things that I like about Canva is the text, that they have these pre-built text in here. So one of the things that I like to do too is they have some cool images in here and stuff. So I like to take parts of this whenever I'm working on something and just make it my own. So for example, if I like this financial growth here, I would go ahead and I may not like the growth part, but I like the financial. I would just go ahead and delete the growth part but keep this part because I like the how the font is. 
And if I just put it over here for just the sake of this video, <clears throat> you can have it look like that. So you can take parts of these different graphics that you like, if you like the way they did the text and do it like that. And then one thing that I like too about this is that uh, I use this a lot is in their editing tool. So if you want to change the colors for anything, you can go up here and the text color, you can change the colors to whatever you want. You can make it your own color. They have this brand kit thing where you literally can, if you have a certain set of colors that you want to stick with, you can create your own palette. So you can go to edit and make it whatever you want it to be. So this will always show up when you're working on different projects. So that's a really cool feature they have in here. So what you want to do if you want to change the font for something, you just click right here and then you can go to canvas. That's with the current font that it is, but I like to use league Spartan a lot. So, and that's how you can do like, that's the font that I really like to use. And then I always just, instead of just making it, I'll just use the corner to make the size what I want it to be. And then I'll always use the grid lines to figure out well, how do I center this? Like, where does this look good? So you can right here, that says it's centered right there. And then so some other cool tools in here. So if you go to see more right here with these little three lines, you can go to effects. And one thing I really like to do a lot is I like to lift it or use the shadow because it just creates for a better look when you are using this type of font. So one of the things that I always say when you're to make it look professional and top things off, use these shadows and lift. It really just does something to it to make it look like a little bit extra to it. And you can even go even more for just like offsetting. You can see the difference with what I'm doing here. You just give it gives it more. I really like that. So this is just an example of how to use the different elements within Canva. If you want to change the background, you can just click on the image here and then background color, and then you can change the color to whatever you want. You know, add a new color. You can use this right here to change the colors to whatever you want to do. And then once you do that, it will keep that color. So I'm just going to show you a quick example. And so you can do that and change different colors, but this is just how you can like just play around with it. But I just want to get you familiar with Canva and the di different ways you can use it. Now, some other things and elements that is really cool that I wanted to show you too, is that even in here too, you can also add video, which is really cool. So if I just put in under search, now some of these are pro as we see here. So you will have to go through these to see which ones are not. So this one is not um, paid for. So I'm going to show you if I hover over this and you can see when it's going to, you can see how that's, highlight it and you see how that is how cool is that you can go ahead and duplicate this page and then just add just another layer to it if you just wanted to do something simple to it and so one of the things that once you have different posts in here you can go to this thing called grid view down here and you can see all the different posts that you create and if you want to change the order to one all you got to do is just drag it over and it'll drag it all over and when you're done with that, you go right back to grid, close grid view, and then you're back here. So these are just kind of the things that you can use up here. Now, another reason people use Canva a lot is that they want to use eBooks, create different graphics, things like that. So I want to show you some other elements on how you can use this. So let's go back to design up here. And one of the things that I didn't get to show you is if you go back up here to home, you can go ahead and create projects. I like this a lot because if you're working on different projects, you can organize yourself in here. So I want to quickly show you how this works. So the recent design that I just did, what you can do if you want to go back to it or if it's important to you, you can go ahead and just hover over this and put a star on it. And you can use this for team collaboration. So if you have a team, this is something that you also can use where you can open, they have instructions right here for you. You can menu or design or photo to start it for your team. So if you have a team, you can do that also. So if I wanted to start that, all I gotta do is click it, or if I wanna unstart it, I would just click it again. So that's just how easy it is to add things to projects. So if we want to create an ebook, let's just go over here to templates, and then let's just put in ebook, just for the sake of this video, for tutorial. So I'm trying to see something that's free here, just so I can show you how this all could work. So if I go to time management, it's gonna show me what's in here. So this is just the ebook cover. I want to show you what a whole ebook looks like. So let me go ahead and just find an actual ebook template, ebook template. So that's what we want to look for. We want to look for an ebook template. So your guide to a successful online brand. Let me just choose this one just to show you how this looks. So you can decide if you want all of these pages or just one of them, but this is showing you what's inside the custom template right here. So you want to customize this template 
and make it your own. Okay, so this is how the ebook looks like. So this is everything right here, all the pages. And one of the cool things about Canva is if you don't like one of the pages or the layout, you can go ahead and change it. You're not just stuck. So say for example, you want to add a page and you wanted to add a different like type of template or something like this, you could just click on this page, go over here back to design and look at the different templates of the other eBooks and different templates that they have. So for example, I'm just gonna put this one in here just to show you that you can just literally click on it and it will just put it over here. So you can go ahead and mix and match different templates and make it your own however you want. Now one thing you can do also, you, you can zoom in by just using this thing right here or you can make it 75, like you can go up to different percentages or if you want it like 25%. Sometimes I work between 25 and 50, but I like it just to be at this type of view where I can go ahead and change it. When you're working with this stuff, it's all click and drop and drag. So if you want to change this, you can change it. One thing that I wanna show you guys is how you can like add different things and make it go behind. So if I go to elements and I wanna add a line, you can go to see all for looking at the different types of lines. I'm just gonna choose this one right here, just for the sake of the video. And so if you want to have this line right here, and you wanted it to be behind this graphic right here, oh, it's grouping it together, okay. You can go ahead and right click on the line, and then in, for here, for layer, you want to send it to the back, so it's actually in the back. So it can only see it right here. And if you want to send it to the front, you just right click on the line, the layer, and you can bring it back to the front. So you can do this a lot. You're gonna be using this tool a lot, putting things to the front and to the back, especially when you're using Canva. So I want to definitely show you how that tool works right there. And another thing I want to show you too, is when you're exporting things, especially like eBooks and things like that, you're definitely gonna print these out in PDF form. And so when you're exporting, you always go to share, and then you can go to download, and then these are the different file types that you have. You can do things in JPEGs, PNGs, PDF standard, PDF print. I would do PDF if I was doing this ebook. They also have the different types of formats right here for you. And some other things I wanna show you when it comes to sharing is that you can either print this with Canva if you wanted to, where it could be a nice hardcover. You can look at this as a public view links to share this with other people, this, this file right here. And then they have other things in here where you can present and record it. Copy to clipboard, you can create a QR code. There's like so much you can do in Canva, it's ridiculous. You can send it to your phone, embed it, or you can put it, get it on your website. So there's many ways that you can publish your content in Canva, and these are the different ways that you will be doing it. And I talked about it before, but template link is also where you can actually create and sell templates. So if you wanna create your own template, you would use this link and so you would create the template and this would be the link that you share with other people and when they are purchasing it so they can make it their own. So that's how you go about creating templates and sharing them and being able to sell them for purchase. Now these right here, these are already within Canva so you can't sell these because they created and designed these but if you make them your own, you can create and sell those. And another thing I wanted to show you that I, did, I forgot to share is that if you don't know, if you don't want to use a template or the different sizing, you can always create your own size. So if you go back up to the open menu up here and create, you can just go to custom size and put in whatever size you want to create. You can just put in the width and the height and the units, the different units that you can use for this. It's pixels, inches, millimeters, or centimeters, and you can make it your own. So if you know the dimensions of it, this is where you're going to put all that stuff. So I want to make sure I edit that. But I also cannot leave this video without showing you the different AI tools that they have in this. This is so cool. So I'm gonna show you an example of how to upload things here too. So I'm gonna show you an example. I did this in one of my other videos and how like if, for example, if you wanted to create YouTube thumbnails for people, you could actually create an example for them and say, I did this for you just to show you an example. So for example, we can just use a Mangazi for this one because he's just the first one that's showing up on my homepage. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my snipping tool and I'm going to take a screenshot of this thumbnail and I'm going to save it to my computer and I'm going to show you how I can get him out of this image using Canva tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this and I'm gonna go back to Canva and what I wanna do is I'm gonna go back to create and I wanna say, I wanna create a YouTube thumbnail. 
And the one cool thing about Canva is that they have the sizing for everything already. So I'm just gonna say YouTube thumbnail. And I wanna just create a blank one because I wanna show you how cool the tools are with the pro version that you can use to do this type of thing. So what I wanna do is this is how you upload things. If you go right here down to upload, you can upload the file, the thing that I just saved. So what I'm gonna do is upload files and then I'm gonna go to my desktop and with the screenshot I just saved, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I'm uploading the image and then by just clicking on it, it takes it over here so I can start working on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna just get his face right here and without all this stuff. So one of the things that you can do is you can use this tool called BG Remover, it's background remover. So if you just click on this, I'm gonna show you how this works for this. It's going to remove the background. So see how cool that is? I can just get him. Now I wanna go back. So by pressing Control Z on my keyboard, I can go back to what I originally had because I wanna show you another tool that they have in here. So if I go over here to edit, they have this thing called Magic Grab that is really cool. So they have different things in here. You can use this a magic eraser, the background generator where you can actually generate a background that you didn't have before. And Magic Grab is really cool because it will grab the person or whatever thing you want to grab and it will grab it out of the image. So if I click on Magic Grab, it's going to take a little second for the picture and then I can grab his image and grab it and just take him. So I'm gonna show you how this works, it's so cool. So if I wanted to go ahead and add a new page, just to see if it worked, I'm gonna grab his image right here and take it over here to the next page. And then we can see this. Now I wonder if I can get this funnel off. So let me see if I can do that. So if I go to edit this, and then I use the magic grab, will it allow me to get this funnel thing off his, his shirt? Let's see if it'll work. So if I tell it what I want it to grab, let's see if it'll work. Isn't that incredible? I was able to take this off of his shirt. This is amazing. So if I wanted to go ahead and delete this, I could go ahead and delete it. And I literally just have this guy's image as if this that image was never there. And if I wanted to create him a thumbnail, I would literally go ahead and do some cool stuff, add some text here, add a background, all the things that we talked about, you can go ahead and start just playing around with this tool. Now, one more thing I wanna show you is before we leave is that the other tools that they have in here are insanely cool. So if you go over here to open menu, and then you go down to Canva AI, this is where things get even better. So you can go ahead and create images, whatever you have in your mind, you can create. You can Here is where you can create logos and they'll even give you ideas of what you can create. It says, see what you can do with AI. You can promote your new bakery opening. You can literally just tell it what you want it to do and it will create a flyer for you. Images, a plane taken off the runway with a beautiful sunrise, you can tell it that and it'll recreate it. Code. If you don't know code, just you don't need to know code. You tell it what you want it to do and it will create the code for you. It will write blog posts for you. They will create images, write, design, like I was saying, code. All these different things are giving you different examples of what you can tell it to do. So I want you guys to just immerse yourself. The best way to learn how to use Canva is to just get started and using it. And I hope this tutorial gave you a good idea of how to use the different features that they have in here and go ahead and just get started. Okay, so now that you know how to use it, it's time to start making money from it. And that's what I specialize in. You know, I created a free wealth blueprint that's going to open your eyes to a whole new world on the possibilities of how you can make more money. No, I don't know if it's a secret, but people just don't realize this. So check it out. I wanna give it to you guys free in the description below. And also, if you made it this far and are you still here, let me know that you're still here by putting in the comments, Canva all day. That way I can see who actually stuck around to this video. And if you guys wanna see how to make money with Canva, check out my video I did on the eight genius ways to make money from Canva that most people don't talk about. As always, thanks for watching guys. Have a great day.